What is the best way to lower the risk of a cross-site scripting attack that is unique to your specific environment? Is it choice A, input validation? Is it choice B, CICD pipeline? Is it choice C, threat modeling? Or is it choice D, HTTP response headers? The correct choice is choice C, threat modeling. Out of all the choices, the definition of threat modeling is to look for threats specific to your organization. And to know threat modeling, you had to know your software development lifecycle steps really well, which is a strong requirement for passing the CISP exam. Threat modeling occurs in the development phase of the SDLC before even the testing phase and works to do the following. Reduce scattered application vulnerabilities to meet security objectives, takes the perspective of an attacker who may specifically target the components of your system or environment. Threat modeling also allows the organization to test their own resilience against an attacker. It is a form of software development due diligence. Choice C is the best answer because not only can threat modeling be done early in the software development lifecycle, but it is also done in a way that can be uniquely tailored to your specific company. Choice A is a good answer because input validation will make sure to detect unauthorized input before it is processed by the backend database or web application. You can have input validation testing during the software development lifecycle and then implement it as a control while the code is in live production. Input validation is a general and standard best practice when it comes to code development. The question is looking for which answer will be the best choice that helps to deal with cross-site scripting specific to your environment, not just the choice that provides a standard security countermeasure. It's not choice B because a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline is a great way to increase the pace and release of code that comes with its own set of stringent security testing. CICD is most synonymous with creating a fine-tuned, rapid software development process in which efforts span multiple teams within the company. It can do well in preventing and lowering the risk of cross-site scripting, but choice C is a better answer. For choice D, an easy way to eliminate this choice is that it's already too technical for the CISP exam. While you are expected to know the details of cross-site scripting attacks, you don't have to dig in too deep on HTTP response headers. For cross-site scripting, attackers will inject a malicious code into an HTTP request. Having HTTP response headers that have cross-site scripting protection stops browsers from loading this harmful code. HTTP response headers protect websites from this common and effective attack known as cross-site scripting. Make sure to know the details of cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery for the CISP exam. If you're interested in joining my globally recognized CISSP course with almost 60 hours of high quality CISP videos breaking down complex security concepts and topics, along with over 875 practice questions, 1500 flashcards, and access to a private CISP telegram group, please see the link in the description. Thank you and all the best to you, future CISSP.